Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. I'm coming on to show you a basic hack with a really easy way to add bronzer if you're in a hurry. So we had some snow up here in the Northeast. I'm looking for some sunny, beautiful bronze look today. Um, I'm going to show you. I have one of my larger palettes today, which it, this is a double decker, but look how much I hold just in the top layer. Incredible. So what I'm doing today is starting from over here, my three main colors, my main color, my brightener, and my contour are sandy, sunlit, and indigo. This one here is one of our bronzers called Tan Lines. Um, I love Tan Lines. I'm actually going to mix it with sandy in a few spots. I'll show you how that works. Really fast, easy way to add a little bronzer. This is one of our new illuminators. It's a cream illuminator called Confetti. I am obsessed with confetti. It's a really pretty like champagne color. This is one of our new Lip and Cheeks, which I have not tried yet, called Saint Tropez. Um, I'm excited to see how that will look. Um, I tend to go for more a bowl lip, but we're gonna try Saint Tropez. And then these are my eye colors I have on today. We have Butterscotch, Moscow, Holly, Cupcake, and Drift. So, um, like I said, I've already done my eyes, but wait till you see the way they pop. Cause right now my face is kind of just flat. You know, there's not a lot of dimension, like a little dark circles under my eyes. I've got some blemishes. All right, brushes I'm using today. I'm going to use primarily my buff brush. This is a little bit more moderate to more, like it gives like an airbrushed look. I love the buff brush. I'm going to use our big old blush and bronzer, which is one of my favorites. And then I'm going to use my multitasker for my lips. And then I have one of our Demi brushes, which I'm going to do a little bit of fine contouring. Nothing crazy today. I am running out the door pretty soon. Um, so I'm going to just throw my hair up into a headband kind of get it out of my face and I'm gonna start. So there are so many different ways to put this makeup on. I've showed you cheetah hack with the little dots all over and blend. I've showed you kind of paint by numbers. Um, sometimes I do all my makeup one piece by piece, my mane, my brightener, then my contour and blend in between. Um, today I'm gonna do a little combination. So I'm gonna start with that bigger end of that buff brush and I'm gonna dip in. I'm just gonna push into both my um, my sandy and my tan lines together. And I'm just gonna kind of tap it all over. This is kind of a fast and easy way to get a little bit of bronzer. Um, wherever you would put your bronzer, you would dip the two. And then I'm gonna just add some sandy kind of all over my face. And you know, your main color should blend with your face, but if you're um, of more mature skin, like I'm 51, so you go a little bit darker on your main color, cover that little blemish. And then I'm gonna add, now I'm gonna blend again, kind of where the sun's gonna hit and add a little bit more blend with the sandy plus tan lines. Okay. And I'm just gonna blend it. So I'm gonna use that same brush and I'm just kind of swooping around in circles. If you want really light coverage, we've got something called a blend brush. If you want more medium, we have 3D, the blush and bronzer works great. You know, you kind of figure out what kind of coverage you want. I um, am a medium coverage too. Sometimes I like that airbrush look, which is why I'm using the um, blend brush today. Cause you'll see it just kind of really smooths out your skin and gives you that no filter filtered look. And like I said, I added that bronzer Rather than making an extra step in my makeup, I just mixed it right in with my main color. Cover that little blemish in there, voila. All right, so this is kinda, I like to, you can, this makeup has such clean ingredients, you can put it right over your lips, seriously. Kind of priming my lips. Next, I'm gonna go into sunlit. So I'm gonna go into the other end, the kind of more fine end, into sunlit. Sunlit is, for me, um, my brightener, everyone gets a different color and that's gonna kind of go right up here. See how that, already, I mean, I haven't blended, but see how already that just kind of brightens up there. And then, oh, this is my favorite. As you notice, when I did mine all over, I didn't do right under here because I don't want to put a lot of makeup there. I don't want to accentuate my fine lines. So I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna kind of draw a line down here. I'm gonna put a little bit over here. And I'm just gonna tap in what's left over. I'm sorry about that noise in the background. That is my dog chewing on his bone. I have yet to be able to find out a way to keep him out of this room when I'm doing a video. All right, so see how I did one here, one here, and then just kind of tap in the extra. A little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. I'm gonna use that same side 
And I'm just gonna kind of fan it out. So I'm kind of doing this piece by piece. You know, I did my main plus bronzer. Now I'm doing my brightener and then I'll do my contour. Under here, I'm gonna make sure I come down here and swoop up. And then under here, I'm just kind of patting it in. I'm not swiping, I'm pushing and kind of bringing it up and bringing it up. Same thing over here, come down. Down here I can swoop up, I don't have wrinkles there yet. <laughs> but under my eye, I really want to kind of stipple it up and away and see how that really just kind of brightens and lifts my eye. Up and up, make sure that's done. Okay, next is contour. Um, actually, I'll do it with the brush. I usually do it with my finger, but my contour is this dark indigo color. Do not be afraid of contour. And this is gonna come, oh, I need a little bit more. Across my forehead, kind of all across. And then I like to come down almost like a little bit of a triangle. I know this still looks crazy. And then come down my cheekbone. Kind of right to above my ear and to where my eye comes down. See that cheekbone instant? Same thing over here. Come down. And like I said, don't be afraid of the contour. I haven't blended it yet, but you'll see, it blends easily. And I'm gonna take that extra and just kind of draw it on my jawline. And brush it down. All right, I'm gonna go back into that bigger end and just kind of blend that in. So again, big circles, blend it down. So they all easily blend. And then come up here. So this is, see that contour kind of goes in that three. Kind of across here, cheekbone, and here. I'm gonna just brush that up. I don't want you to blend away the contour too much. All right, and voila, and push it up. All right, I'm gonna go into my finger for Saint Tropez. Actually, let me um, yikes, let me blind my lips a little bit. I have to do this in the mirror here. So I love this uh, multitasker. I use that same contour, and I'm gonna come in. I'm gonna do my lips in kind of a four. One up, up, and then along the bottom. All right. Actually, for the bottom, I'm gonna use my demi brush. So what do you see? But see how I just lined a little bit on the lip? I'm gonna smooth it out. And then I just started using, I got this demi brush. I love this, this little fine end. Watch this. Just a little bit. Under my lower lip, yeah, I can talk while doing this, <laughs> just makes it look a little more fuller, just by adding a little shadow underneath, like that. Amazing. All right, let me go back into my multitasker. I'm gonna dip into St. Tropez. I'm curious how this looks. Like I said, I usually like a bowl lip, but, oh, this is pretty. It's kind of a light coral color. All right. I'm a fan. I thought it might be too light, but I like it. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. All right, let me add, I'm gonna put it on with my finger for my cheeks, right here, above where my contour was. Put it nice and high, right up here, right up here. And then I'm gonna go into that big blush and bronzer brush and use that kind of fine end and just kind of brush it in. Oh, I think St. Tropez is gonna be gorgeous in the summertime. We have a little bit of tan. It is a really pretty corally color. All right, so again, just kind of brushing that all in. Look how fast this is. Lastly, I'm gonna go into my confetti. I love this illuminator. This is gonna go right here, not quite in my eye, but above where I put that St. Tropez. A little bit on my nose. This gives just that little bit of sexy glow. Right there, you can add a little bit on your lip. All right, and then what I like to do is take that big fluffy end and just kind of go all over my face. Make sure that illuminator is in my nose, illuminator, and we're done. Then I usually take my perfector sponge 
and just use my setting spray and set it into place just so that it doesn't get all over my mask. But look at that, tucking. I mean, that took me 10 minutes, but that's showing you my makeup. Honestly, fast, easy. And now you can see I've got a little more dimension to my face. My skin is evened out. Got a little bit of cheekbones. If you wanted to come back in and add a little bit more contour to make it a little bit more defined, you could. Um, and done. So thank you for watching. I'll post my pictures below and everyone enjoy your Sunday.